Our mission. We make sure that the devil does not have any power over the children of God. And we do this by praying fervently to demolish the strongholds of the devil. We do not stop there. We also bring stories of individuals who were saved from the hands of the devil by God, so that it will strengthen you and give you the courage to know that in prayer, no evil can stand in your way. May our God richly bless you. In the year 1992, there was a young man named John. He had big dreams of going to university and building his own business one day. But John didn't have enough money to pay for his education, and there was nobody to help him either. So, he decided to work very hard on people's farms to earn money for his studies. Day by day, John worked tirelessly and saved up some money. He was so happy because he knew that soon he would be able to go to university. But then, something terrible happened. John's mother, who was also working hard to support him, became very sick. They had no choice but to take her to the hospital to make her better. Unfortunately, all the money they had saved for John's education was used up to pay for the hospital bills. This wasn't the first time something like this had happened. Every time John and his mother managed to save enough money, something bad would happen that they couldn't control. It seemed like the devil was always trying to ruin their plans. But one day, their prayers were answered. They prayed to God for help, asking Him to protect them from setbacks and delays. And guess what? God heard their prayers. One sunny day, while John's mother was sitting in front of their house, a kind man came looking for John. John's mother was worried and asked if there was a problem. But the man smiled and said, No, I'm here to offer John a job in our company. And guess what? He can also continue his education. John couldn't believe his ears. It was like a dream come true. He accepted the job offer and went back to school. He studied hard and completed his education. Not only that, but he also got promoted in the company where he worked. Now, John and his mother live a comfortable life. They have enough money to take care of themselves and even help others in need. They are grateful to God for his blessings and for making their dreams come true. You see, my dear friend, this story teaches us that sometimes life can be tough, and it may feel like everything is going wrong. But if we have faith and pray, good things can happen. God is always watching over us, and He can turn our difficult situations into something beautiful. Just like He did for John and his mother. So never lose hope and always believe that miracles can happen when you pray. Setbacks and delays are among the orchestrations of the devil to ruin destinies, but as we pray today, every satanic ordained and orchestrated setback and delay shall go up in flames in a total of destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And every devil assigned the assignment of destroying, delaying, and setting you back shall be arrested and humiliated out of your life. They shall be routed and put to flight by the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. But before we pray, we must understand that the tools that the devil uses to implement and enforce setbacks and delays among other things are laziness, sickness, and fear. And that's why the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And it is for this purpose that Christ came, to destroy all the works of the devil. So as we pray now, all the works of the devil are shattered and destroyed by the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Let us pray. Dearest Father Lord, everlasting King of glory, we thank you for your accomplished work in the cross of Calvary that has accorded us victory over sicknesses, setbacks, slavery, servitude, and delays. 
Therefore dear everlasting Father Lord, let every setback and things that bring setbacks in the lives of every listener under my voice be routed and destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let anyone under my voice who is under any form of slavery be liberated and set free now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, because your will for us is prosperity, health, and wellness according to 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Therefore Lord, I pray you to judge every agent of setback and delay operating in the life of anyone under my voice. Lord, in accordance with your word of Isaiah 54 verse 15 through 17, that says, Indeed they shall surely assemble, but not because of me whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. Behold, I have created the blacksmith, who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the spoiler to destroy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Dear Lord, I ask that every conspiracy and confederacy against your people, especially those under my voice, be destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Arise O God, in defense of your words of Isaiah 49 verse 26 and Exodus 14 verse 14. Dear Heavenly Father, arise, fight, and rescue everyone under my voice that is under the siege of satanic setbacks. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you dearest Lord, for answering, for with thanksgiving we pray. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. We are so happy that you're here with us today. We really want to know about the amazing things our Lord has done for you or someone you know. It could be something that made your heart feel warm and full of joy. You can share your story in the comments below, where other friends who love Jesus will see it too. By sharing your story, you can inspire other Christian friends to be strong and pray with all their hearts. And remember, our Lord loves to bless us abundantly. May He pour out His special blessings on you and your loved ones. Amen.